Well, hey guys, welcome back to my shop. My name is Dima. So I've been absent for a few weeks from my YouTube channel. That's mainly because I've been working on some projects that were kind of commission work and I was trying to catch up with my Etsy shop. It's been kind of empty, so I wanted to fill that. So that way I could at least make some money off of this woodworking thing. <laughs> but anyways, so the last project that I did work on, which was a video based project, was the Baby Rubo workbench. Now I really enjoyed making that workbench and I've got to say, my boys really, really, they, I mean, they were crazy when I brought that workbench upstairs. I don't have a video of their reaction uh, because I kind of wasn't sure how they were going to react, but I wish I was recording it because their reaction was pretty much priceless. I mean, they're like kids in a candy store. Well, kids at home in a workbench. So I was really happy with their reaction. Now, the one thing I was really proud of, which any woodworking father would be of their kids, is they knew exactly what they needed to do with the mallets that I made them. Um, I made them some baby uh, joiner mallets that kind of match the mallets that I have. And they knew exactly what to do with them. They started banging on the workbench and they started bringing their toys and started you know, making it look like they were putting stuff together. So I am really proud of them. Um, I mean, I guess they see what I'm doing in my shop and just try to copy me. So I'm really happy that at least they'll have something to look forward to, just like I do, to work with dad in the shop. Well, let's go over to my workbench and I'll kind of show you what I have been working for the last couple of weeks. Um, I haven't really been filming it because it's kind of stuff that either I've already had a video of going on or it's just not something you know anybody wants to see. So if you follow me on Instagram, you pretty much know exactly what I've been up to the last few weeks from the beginning of this year. And one of those things was something that really was requested by a lot of people, which is the leg vise kit without the threaded rod attached to it. It seems like a lot of people either have those laying around in their shop or they have access to one that's really cheap. Um, so I've made um, a few of these kits that don't have uh, the screw installed. So if you're interested in this leg vise kit, you get everything, uh, the hub, the handle, and the retaining washer halves, um, and then you just install your own screw. So I have those on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. The link to that shop will be down in the description. The other thing I made was a bunch of these joiner mallets. Now, I really like the combination of the walnut and the maple handle. Um, and I'm really proud of these mallets. I mean, they're really comfortable. They weigh about a pound each um, and they're really comfortable. The, hand, the handle is profiled to exactly my liking, which is a screwdriver handle. And you pretty much can grab it anywhere and even choke it up and still feel really comfortable. I mean, to me, it's really well balanced and I'm really proud of it. Uh, I did uh, shave off the edges here, so that way when you are banging on your project, it doesn't leave dings. Um, you might still get a couple, but I mean, it's a joiner mallet, so if you don't want to leave dings, you can always put a piece of scrap wood in between your project and your mallet, and that's gonna go away. So I still have a whole bunch of these available, and once again, the link to those are gonna be down in my description as well, if you're interested. So the video on my high-speed steel marking knives that were recycled from my joiner blades, that video is very popular and I've had a lot of requests of people asking me to make them a marking knife uh, like in that video. And I'm really happy that people are actually liking uh, the design that I have. Well, the design is a knife, so really it's not really my design. But I, I'm really happy with the people who are actually enjoying my work and actually want to see my work in their shop so I mean all the knives that I've made were from recycled blades either people sent me or I picked them up somewhere and I've got three more that came in the mail from Stone and Sons um, if you haven't seen their channel I'll put a link down in the description so I'll be making three more marking knives one will go back to Sean and two of them will be available for sale sometime in the near couple weeks I'll hopefully get them done so if you were waiting for one um, here's gonna be your chance so the other thing I want to talk about is this little red box now I'm really excited about this um, I was looking for a very long time for a way to mark my projects and I wanted it to be my logo I didn't want it to be too big and I didn't want it to be too small and I wanted it to be just perfect and I kind of figured out what size would look good and if you kind of look at my mallets 
Uh, the logo that I have is exactly what I wanted. It's exactly the right proportion and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I received this from a company called Brand First and once again I'll have a link down in the description to their information. Uh, they make these sweet uh, branding irons uh, that come, I got, obviously I got the the one that comes with you know it's it's a it's a it's an iron so I don't have to heat it with a torch but it comes with a variable uh, temp thing I'm not sure what you would call this anyways it's it, it's a variable temperature thing so you pretty much figure out what setting you need and you figure out how long you brand your wood and the type of wood and then you just go from there now I'm really happy with how the branding actually turns out I mean it takes a little bit of getting used to you have to you know, make sure that it's straight and then you have to figure out which woods and how long and how much heat to apply, but I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna be using this a little bit more and hopefully I'll have some more feedback to you guys and uh, let you know of how it performs. So I'm really excited about the project that I have scheduled for next week. It will be a video project that I'll be recording and sharing with you guys. Um, I'm really excited about it. I've been planning this one for a very long time. I haven't been planning it. I kind of had an idea that I wanted to do it, uh, but I just really never got around to it. But now I've got all the materials. I've got all the tools that I need to do it. So hopefully next week I can get it started and share with you guys what I've got. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Comment down below about this video or if you got any questions about any other videos or just questions to me in general, you can do so in the comments area down below. Well, have fun in the shop, but be safe doing it. See you guys next time.